it's Ramona Remesat here again from RamonaRemesat.com with the weekly oracle card reading. This is going to be the reading for the week of September 7th through to the 13th. And I'm working with two decks of cards put together. Here we have the fairy deck and this is the archangel deck. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the reading. Although these are really tricky to shuffle, <laughs> as you can see. Actually, you know what? This one wants to be out for Monday and Tuesday. And I think this one's going to be the middle of the week. And uh, take this one for the end of the week. Okay, so we have two cards from the Fairy deck, one from the Archangel deck. So as the week opens, we have Healing Healed Healer. Look at that. And the message on there actually says, healing energy surrounds you and this situation. So I've been talking with a lot of people who are still feeling these after effects from the super moon that we had last weekend. And it just feels really sort of chaotic, uh, sort of almost frenzied energy. And so right now the angels are saying, you know, take some time. Um, it's actually a good time to kind of just sort of surround yourself with some more gentleness, right? Don't be in a hurry to kind of get out there back into the world because that energy is still going on. So some of you might feel like you need to cocoon a little bit. You want to sort of go within or you want to sort of separate yourself from everything else that's going on and maybe stay home more than usual and that's okay. Take whatever time you need to kind of heal from that um, energy that's been out there because it has been very overwhelming. So. Um, do, you know, follow your instincts is basically what they're saying. Follow and do what you feel is best for you. And that's especially for Monday and Tuesday. In the middle of the week, <laughs> this is kind of continuing, easy does it. It's saying easy does it. And it's saying stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So it kind of has a dual meaning. It means still take it easy in terms of that crazy energy that I was talking about. And, you know, be more gentle with yourself and learn to let go a little bit. A lot of you are kind of, um, you know, I think with the September what happens is people see it as a fresh start, almost like a new new beginning, new, new year, even though the real new year doesn't start until January. But, you know, ever since um, I was a kid and went to school, I've always looked at September as the, the new year, or new beginning. So a lot of people are you know, getting going on things, or maybe they're looking forward and seeing that the end of the year isn't that far off, and, you know, they're, they're not exactly happy about where their life is at this point, maybe some of the things they were working towards, some of the goals you've been trying to re uh, reach are kind of falling short. So there's a lot of striving right now to really get going on things and push and chase and you know, um, a reminder here that that energy, you know, if you're striving too hard, that whatever you're striving for will evade you. And it's because it's sort of a, a chasing energy or fear energy. You know, anything you run after runs away from you, right? So think about backing off a little bit. Instead, what you can do is tell the angels what you need help with, listen for their guidance, watch for their guidance, and follow through. And that's sort of the better way of going at it than push, 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 strive, 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 if you know what I mean. And I actually have an article on my blog um, that talks about that. So after you're done reading this, go to RamonaRemesat.com forward slash blog, and you may need to scroll down because it's been there for a while, and I can't remember the actual title, but you'll, you'll notice it when you see it. But it talks about that whole idea of what you chase runs from you and gives you a little more insight into that. And then at the end of the week, we have remember who you are. Who are we? We are this beautiful, amazing, loved child of God or whatever your belief is. But we have sort of that, that divine within us. And they're just reminding you as the week ends to sort of try to see yourself through their eyes, not to um, beat yourself up so much about things. You know, imagine, you know, that you're the angel looking at yourself and there's nothing we could ever do, say, think, or feel that would make them not love us anymore. So be more loving towards yourself. Be more gentle with yourself. It kind of goes with the easy does it, you know, that sort of echoing. So that theme is kind of continuing on through the whole entire week. Just sort of take it easy this week a little bit. And, you know, don't compare yourself to other people. 
Uh, remember, your path is your path, and their path is their path, and they're different, and you can't really compare apples and oranges because they're different. So keep that in mind, okay? So that's what you have for this coming week. And as I said, uh, after you're done watching this video, jump over to my blog. It's www.ramona, R-A-M-O-N-A, remesat, R-E-M-E-S-A-T dot com forward slash blog. And you can scroll down. One of my recent posts there is what angel to call on for what? Because I get asked that a lot. You know, if I have... Uh, uh, a question about my health. What angel should I call on for that, right? If I have a question about the environment or animals or something, what angel do I call on for that? So that article will, or that blog post will detail which angel you can use. And of course, you always have your own guardian angels to work with, but when you're working on something specific, there are the archangels who all have a specialty and you can call them in as well to assist you. So you can check that out. I also have five tips for dealing with stress. Uh, uh, using some sort of spiritual based tools, if you will. So there's lots and lots of great um, insights and helping tools and things of that nature over on the blog. So be sure to go check that out. In the meantime, have a fabulous week and I hope I'll see all of you here next week. See you later.